Hi everyone, I wanted to make you a quick video for this first week's lab, just to walk you through what would be a great way to show your data in a plot. There are a lot of different options that you could use to express the same information. And what I'm looking for when I grade them is making sure that your plot communicates the proportion of beans at each stage of the experiment. So one way to do that is with what's called a stacked column chart. So a 100% stacked column chart will show proportions really well. Every single bar on the graph is able to have several different types of organisms. Um, we can use this type of bar plot in taxonomic studies. So if you're doing microbiome research, you'll use this type of plot a lot. I've opened up Google Sheets and created this potential um, recording device. You'll see that I stored the data wide instead of long. And that's because for Google Sheets, it's usually easier to make a graph if you organize your data in this way. If I highlight all of the data and go to insert chart, the default will be to come up with a bar chart, but not a stacked bar chart. The only problem with a bar chart is that it doesn't show the different types of beans very easily in a way that you can compare because they're all labeled down here. Um, it would be easier if in each experiment you could see the proportions. So if we switch from column chart to stacked column chart, it will now show all the types of beans um, at once as long as we um, change what is our axis. So right now it's putting red, black, brown, white on the bottom. If we change this to uncheck switch rows and columns, it will now show the different bean types. So what do we see? Well, when I made up these numbers, um, because I was just trying to give you an example of how to make the plot, I was picturing in my head what would happen if you had red sand. Um, so red sand, the white would be really easy to pick out, the red would be difficult, and so over time, the red proportion would increase. So this is one type of graph that you can make for your lab report. If you make a graph, an easy way to edit it is to move to its own sheet. And then once it's in its own sheet, make any changes you want to the title, um, make any changes you want, and then publish or download from. If you download it, you can download it as a PNG. That's really easy to insert into your Google Doc. Um, or a PDF um, if you were submitting it on its own. Uh, for this first week's lab, I'd recommend the PNG option or the chart. Good luck with your first lab report and let me know if you have any questions.